Welcome back to Parapod. For those who have been watching videos I made, I know that uh, I haven't been uh, producing any uh, video uh, recently because the fact that the um, the cover I got from uh, the factory is some problem. Uh, they made it too large, uh, and also they made uh, the the whole thing into four uh, pieces. So uh, as you can see from the live uh, video, uh, from the live feed, you can see that uh, it's not what uh, we expect. Uh, yeah, too large, so we can't, couldn't tension uh, the fabric. Um, uh, yeah, and also there's other uh, issues. Um, yeah, because the fact that we placed the bubble generator on the top, right? The orientation of the two bubble generator is very important. Uh, so that means the cover should be different, right? Uh, but uh, because of those issues, so, um, we uh, made a, 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 yeah, a change to our cover system. So the major change is this, um, that we move the bubble generator from the top to the bottom to the ground you know so we, this time we we um, we design a uh, four bubble generator and and we place them you know place each one on a corner uh, uh inside corner and uh yeah and this design is make a lot of things much easier right and this way the fabric um uh the cover will be uh, uh you know all p all four sections are uh are the same right exactly the same so uh, this way uh it's easier for the manufacturer okay so uh and the idea came uh one day uh when uh, young and i you know uh just uh you know look at the uh you know the the our design uh which had already mentioned the ways to um to uh improve the design uh basically we we'll, we have this special part we place on top of this arc you know, loop and but at the same time uh this piece can be sold onto this uh, exterior fabric and this one also so basically we design a piece to connect all four uh, section together you know uh, yeah on the exterior part right so um, and then then while we discuss this and then uh, Yang our 3D designer he suddenly you know mentioned he suddenly asked the question can we put the you know the bubble generator outside the cavity right because uh, we already made a decision to move it down to them to, but we we initially we thought we could put a bubble machine inside a cavity you know uh at a corner still at a corner but inside a cavity right and then then young suddenly mentioned then is it possible to move the bu bubble generator from the inside to the outside and suddenly you know it's uh yeah that that opened up the everything right so we're glad that he made the suggestion and then quickly uh richard uh you know confirm uh that idea uh because uh yeah at one time uh richard had uh the bubble generator right beneath outside the cavity right be uh, beneath the uh the roof uh, cavity already we can see the extrusion camera. We're going to see it better in a second when it gets into this open area. We've taken the bottom off. And here is our foam. Too bad it's not a sunny day today. There it goes. That's how quickly it runs. Here we go. The foam is back. And moving towards the bubble generator. Like. So it's not something new. Uh, he, he, you know, he did it uh, before. So anyway, so quickly we see that um, this is a major uh, breakthrough. Beside uh, moving 
the bubble generator down uh, to the uh, uh, lower level, uh, but placing it outside the cavity uh, on the ground and make it uh, everything a lot easier. Yeah. So um, anyway, so um, this is the uh, improvement and. Uh, also, we uh, we have this uh, zipper system, you know, to make the inner uh, fabric to be uh, able to uh, open, right? So once you open it, or even completely taken it out, uh, and you have the option to change the inside cover, right? Uh, so that we can reduce the cost, use the you know, uh, uh, high quality uh, material for the exterior cover, and but the inside uh, we can use relative cheap material, and then if it uh, deteriorate, then you can uh, change it, right? Uh, yeah. So anyway, so that's uh, uh, something else uh, we make uh, the improvement. Uh, and as you can see, uh, after moving the bubble generator from the top to the bottom, you know, to the inside corner, and then we um, we can simply open the four holes. You know, it's uh, the holes is in the shape of triangle. So we simply open uh, open up the junction between two sections, right? So this way, for example. Um, Let's look at the uh, bubble generation in this case. Um, by the way, I just find out the um, yeah Yang made a mistake here uh, because once you borrow air from this section and blow bubble into this section, this is the south, right? Uh, because our you know in my backyard uh, uh, parapod, the entrance is facing east. So this is south, this is north, and the opposite side, you know, opposite to the entrance, that's the west, right? So um, in this case, uh, when you borrow air from this section and blow bubble into the south, you uh, you have to place this one accordingly uh, because you cannot just you know borrow air and then blow bubbles at the same time. So so the, when the 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 fan is here, then this should be another fan. You know that the fan should be here. So basically, the two fans, uh, if you want total fill, right? Uh, you know to fill all four sections. So you need to uh, have two fans. Both blow air from this section. You know, borrow air from this section, and and blow into the adjacent. Uh, 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 yeah, cavity, right? Section, and then produce bubbles. You know, so uh, so in this case, um, you can imagine the bubbles uh, is shooting out from this um, uh, outlet. Okay, you can see here uh, this outlet. So basically, um, uh, you, you can see bubbles fill this area. Same thing over here. This should be an outlet too. And then so the bubbles, you know, shooting into this section, into this section, and then the wet bubbles accumulate uh, and expand, right? Because more bubbles are, are, are produced, right? And uh, so the liquid will fall down, and the dry bubbles will be pushing up, you know, very light, right? So you can see expansion uh, of bubbles, and then push. Along more as more bubbles produce, then more bubbles, you know, light bubbles pushing up, right? And then uh, once they reach to the top, it fall uh, to the left and to the right. Okay, so uh, because uh, this is the pressure area, this is relative low pressure area because the fan, right? Fan draw air from this section. You know, we're not borrowing air from outside. We're simply uh, this is called uh, internal circulation. So, um, so you're gonna see the bubbles uh, will, will flow this way, you know. Uh, yeah, and then same thing over here, the bubble will flow this way. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um,
so this way we can fill the south side uh, quickly, very uh, fast, you know, and then and then the once the south side is totally filled and the bubble just uh, you know uh, expand into the adjacent section, and then uh, so until you fill this section and also this section, right? So if you turn on this fan and this fan, so you will end up uh, filling this area and also filling this area, this area, okay? Um, but if you want to uh, t have a total fill, you turn on all four fans at the same time, right? And then you have the total fill, okay? So that's what it is. Um, yeah, Yang will change uh, the placement of the fan. So make them in pairs, okay? So if you have fan here, then the, here should be the fan too. And you have screen, a screen here, this should be a screen too, okay? So that's what it is. Um, yeah, okay, uh, then um, just uh, look at the another view, uh, just give you a better view. Uh, uh, this view shows the inside, uh, and shows that uh, one side of the bubble generated, you know, that completely revealed, right? So we see uh, basically, uh, uh, we should see a pump here, and uh, the pump will pump the soap liquid uh, up and to the nozzle. The nozzle create the uh, the, the the you know the wrong uh, you know, spraying pattern, and then. The fan blow air inside this uh, space, uh, you know, increase the pressure. Uh, so as you, as you can see, the, you don't need to blow air directly to the hole uh, because you are not, you are actually using the pressure inside to make the blow, okay? So um, then the bubble will be produced here and, you know, shooting out from here, okay? So this is the a view to show you that, and this the view to show the top view. And uh, you can see uh, there's four uh, bubble generators uh, placing at the corner, you know, so between this column and the, and, and this section, okay. So um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what it is. And then we can have an even closer look, yeah of the uh, bubble generator okay so that's the fan and that's the um, yeah, spray nozzle and that's the screen uh, so you can see uh, this design uh, make a lot uh, uh, many things a lot easier uh, because you can uh, this uh, bubble generator is both uh, soap reservoir and uh, 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 bubble generator, you know, you know, it's uh, it's integrated uh, version, okay. So which is uh, very nice. Uh, not much plumbing, only one pump, and then uh, some just short tube, and then uh, feeding uh, the soap liquid to the spray nozzle, and then create the spray, and then the uh, you know the when you turn on the fan, then it will blow bubbles. Okay, so that's what it is. A very simple. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Uh, I think uh, yeah, it's pretty clear. Um, and um, as you can see, also we have a board on top of the retaining wall. Can replace a board. You see this board uh, landed on over the uh, the. Um, yeah, retaining wall block. So um, that's what it is. Um, very clear and yeah, very simple. So that's it. Um, I think I made it clear. Um, if uh, you still have question, you know, ask question on our website or or on uh, on our video channel. You know where you. Uh, watch this video then you ask questions then we'll try our best to answer the qu your questions okay and um, if you see this um, uh, uh, on YouTube um, and make sure you subscribe uh, 
I also have a channel on Rumble, so uh, make sure you subscribe and then uh, as we produce more videos, uh, you'll see uh, right away, okay? And uh, yeah, if you uh, open the, um, the, the notification, uh, then you can, the, inst the instance um, I upload the new videos, and then you 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 will be get uh, uh, notified okay so um, yeah that's it uh, I think it's so clear and at least to me and um, I uh, I trust that this time the factory will, will do it uh, you know well and uh, you know you know because uh, uh, once they fully understand uh, the whole situation, then they can make it, uh, uh, yeah, precise and, uh, and fit. Uh, so this time we asked them to uh, test everything uh, on site. Uh, you know, on their own structure. You know, they already built a structure there. So and then make sure there's no problem. Then they make one for me, and then start mass producing. Okay. So uh, then, yeah, test everything, make sure there's no problem, and then mass production. Yeah, that's the, the procedure. Okay, yeah, good. See you next time.